Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make an Orange Crush Spiral. Decide where you want the center of your spiral to be, give it a little pinch, and then spiral it up. For this particular project, I'm using the Microwave Splatter Guard. I ordered it from Amazon, and I have a link for it down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, the Hemostats too. And so you take the hemostat and you click it down on the first click. You don't want it to be overly tight. You don't want to tear a hole in the center of your shirt. Then you start the spiral and you use your opposite hand to create the pleats in the shirt and spiral it up. This is the closest and fastest way to making a pleated spiral without actually making the pleated spiral. I just honestly don't know how to make those and don't have the patience to try. So this method works really well. Look how nice that spiral is, and it was quick and easy to make. So now it's time to secure it, and I prefer to use rubber bands to secure my spirals, but you could also use kite string. It's just a matter of preference. These rubber bands are perfect for securing spirals. They're just the right size, and I love them a lot because they're easy to wash and reuse. And I got them off of Amazon, and there is a link for those down below as well. Continue to secure your spiral by tucking in all the loose tails. I like to just give them a gentle tug and tuck them into the nearest rubber band. I like to mark out my pattern by using a washable marker. This is not a necessary step, but it's something that I like to do. And for this particular project, I want to make sure that I'm taking the die halfway through the center of the spiral. I just want to remind you guys that this is a single color die and it's going to go into the playlist of Dharma's swatches and we're on Orange Crush now and the colors are starting to get pretty exciting. We're seeing more color splits. So I'm having a lot more fun making these now so I hope you guys enjoy watching them. So don't forget to check out that playlist. Grab a mask and give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. We're going to be pushing a lot of liquid through this shirt via the ice, so you wanna make sure that pH stays up around 10.5 to 11. And then you just wanna add your ice, and you need to create yourself some type of an ice barrier to hold the ice in, and I'm using silicone cake molds, and there is a link for them down below. You could also use foil or cardboard or anything that you can imagine. And then you wanna let your project batch for 24 to 48 hours after the ice melts. It's been 48 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. Now I am trying to protect white so I really wanna make sure to get that soda ash out of the white areas. And then I take it to the washing machine. And I did something different this time because I have two shirts that I'm trying to protect white. 
So I did the first hot water cycle with Synthropol, and I did a second hot water cycle with Synthropol, and then I did a third hot water cycle with Milsoft to bring softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And yes, I did use Synthropol this time because I did find a little bit in my closet, so I'm gonna use that up. And then I put it in the dryer, and we'll come back and see the results. Well, here it is. Here's our orange crush spiral after it's been washed and dried, and it really turned out great. You can tell how nice that splatter guard makes these spirals because you can see the uniform pleats in this shirt, and it just makes for a really outstanding final results. Orange crush is a really pretty color, and it looks kind of dark in these pictures, but it's beautiful. It's a nice deep orange, and it really does look like orange crush soda. So I understand why Dharma named it Orange Crush. And I love how the wisps of orange go into the white. It's sort of a soft, uh, yellowy orange color. It's just really beautiful. And right here is what the liquid swatch looks like against the ice dye. So you can see what liquid does and what ice does. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.